Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And it sounds as if, unless you are completely pure in your heart, unless you're com completely good, you won't see God. Well, there's truth in that. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Uh, the unrighteous, the sinful, the impenitent, well, they won't see God. But the real question is, then how do I become pure in heart do, when every time I try to become pure in heart, I only find that I have more impurity. Well, that, that question is not some grand dilemma. That question is actually answered in the Old and New Testament. In Psalm 24, it says, Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The hill of the Lord in his holy place is the temple. And the reason you go to the temple is to receive reconciliation with God. You go to the temple so you can be forgiven. You go to the temple so that you can be before the face of God. I'm going to continue to read. The person that can do this is he who has clean hands and a pure heart and who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. So the person that goes to the temple, the person that goes to be forgiven, the person that has a pure heart is the person that isn't lying to themselves. And they're not lying to God. They're not being deceitful about who they are. They are going to God to be forgiven. That's a pure heart. That person goes to God. But let's continue reading. The pure in heart, he will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. He will receive a righteous declaration, a pronouncement of righteousness from the God of his salvation. So it's not the sinless that are the pure in heart, as it turns out. It's those who who seek their righteousness and their forgiveness from God. And one last thing. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, seek the Lord, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. The face of the God of Jacob is Jesus Christ. He is God incarnate. He is the face of the Almighty. Blessed are the pure in heart, Jesus says, for they shall see God. Yes, indeed, they shall. For the pure in heart confess their sins, confess their need, and seek their righteousness from God himself through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that God himself has given for us. That is what it means to be pure in heart. So that's today's Vapor Trail from Sunday Sermon. God bless.